beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel so how are you doing without wasting much time i'm going to head straight to the topic of today so on this video i'm going to be talking about the fair and white so white lotions this fair and white um, skin perfector and the fair and white hydra sweet so the essence of this video is to let you know that this lotion has two variants we are also going to be talking about the functions of these two lotions and also i'll be talking about how you can uh, make use of these lotions for um, uh, um, um, optimal results so on this video i'm going to be talking about the similarities of the two lotions and i'm going to also be discussing the differences between these two lotions so i'm going to be doing something like compare and contrasting of these two variants of so, uh, more fair and white so white lotions so the first one i'm going to be talking about is the skin perfector the skin perfector is a clarifying and moisturizing lo uh, lotion so if you are um, looking for something that will that will clarify your skin something that will lighten your skin something that will moisturize your skin this is actually a perfect lotion for you this lotion is actually very good because it also helps in clearing of blemishes if you have hyperpigmentation discoloration dark spots due to acne or pimples if you have melasma this lotion will actually help you in clearing of those blemishes and leaving your skin very clean and supple and also moisturized so let us now talk about the ingredients in this lotion so this lotion have a lot of ingredients but the two main active ingredients in this lotion is the vitamin e which helps in a more moisturizing the skin has anti-aging properties and also healing of wounds then the second um, active ingredient in this lotion is hydroquinone when you hear hydroquinone you want to run away right okay actually this lotion contains hydroquinone 1.9 percent of hydroquinone so that's not bad don't run away here just calm down and listen to what i have to say 1.9 percent of hydroquinone is still within range because according to the fda they said that the 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 um, the um, healthy amount of hydroquinone that, is, that a lotion or a cream is supposed to contain is two percent so this lotion has 1.9 percent just 0.1 percent below so you should know that from 0.1 to 2 percent is still within the healthy range according to the fda so it contains 1.9 percent of hydroquinone which is not bad and you know that hydroquinone when used well when when not used wrongly is very very um, effective in skincare products when it comes to clearing of blemishes hyperpigmentation and dark spots is very very good in treatment of or clearing of um, those flaws on your skin that is when you use it properly so in this emo um, in this emo um, um, I, I actually read a review on this um, on, on this lotion where they said that when you are using this lotion, you have to make use of this lotion using S SPF 50. When you are making use of this lotion, you have to be using a sun protecting factor of, of um, 50 or above to protect your skin from sun. But probably because of the um, 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 hydroquinone inside the lotion. So, and you know that hydroquinone is like um, a treatment. When you're using hydroquinone, some of the rules of using hydroquinone is that you're not supposed to use hydroquinone for more than six, three to six months. Then you discontinue the use. So, while using this lotion, this lotion is not something that you are supposed to use for too long, using it constantly for years. You're supposed to use this lotion, treat whatever um, the 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 imperfection whatever imperfection you have on your skin then you discontinue the use and go over to another lotion that will help you in maintaining your skin or moisturizing your skin so while using this lotion some people said that it is actually very good to use this lotion at night because of the hydroquinone inside you know hydroquinone doesn't go well with um, with sunlight so if you must use this lotion you have to be using it with um, a sun protecting factor of 50 and above as i said earlier or you only use it at night so that is it for the skin perfector but this lotion is actually very good it is effective and it has a very very nice fragrance 
So that is the first variant. Let us go over to the second variant, which is the Hydra Suite. So this Hydra Suite is the second variant. The Hydra Suite helps in moisturization, rejuvenating your skin. It also helps in giving you a smooth and supple skin. It helps in improving the elasticity of your skin. So if you are looking for something that will moisturize your skin, something that will maintain your skin to it is very very okay that is the hydra suite the main the, the two ingredients in this lotion is the almond oil which is very good for moisturization then it also contains diacetyl phosphate so when you want something that will moisturize your skin or high or add hydration to your skin this lotion is very good or when you have a dull looking skin a skin that has a dull appearance this lotion will help in brightening your skin complexion or the appearance of your skin so that your skin will be brightened so that is it for the hydra suite so let us talk about the similarities between these two lotions as you can see on the picture that the two lotions have the same container if you if you don't read them carefully you will not know which is which because they have the same container, the, the container are the same, the, the, the color of the container are the same. So that is the first similarity. The second similarity is that these two lotions are produced by the same company. That is the Labo Dema Company in Paris. That is the um, capital of um, France. So they are produced by the same company. These two lotions, when it comes to fragrance, they are big. They have very, very nice fragrance. Like when you apply the, the cream or the lotion on your body, you even feel like licking it because they smell so good. And the fragrance lingers on the body. So that is the similarity between these two lotions. Another similarity we are going to talk about is their texture and absorption. Both lotions have good texture. And the absorption, they absorb easily into the skin. It's not the kind of lotion that you apply and it sits on your skin. No, they absorb easily into the skin they are not they are not greasy they are lightweight they don't make you sweat and they don't give you odor so that is the similarities between this lotion and also both lotions are very very effective like they work very very well so that is it for the similarities then let us go over to the differences between these two lotions Okay, the two lotions have the same container, but obviously the two lotions do not have the same name and the same ingredient. They have two different ingredients. I told you that the Skin Perfector contains hydroquinone and vitamin E as the active ingredient. While the active ingredient in the Hydra Suite is the almond oil and diacetyl phosphate. So that is it. And the, the function of these two lotions are not the same thing. They don't emo, emo, do the same thing to the skin. The, 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 the functions are different. So when you want to talk about the differences in terms of emo, moisturization, in terms of moisturization, I will go for the Hydra Suite because it moisturizes the skin very, very well. When you want something that will moisturize your skin, that will give your skin that deep or intensive moisturization, you go for the Hydra Suite. So when you want to talk about MO, okay, the, you go for the Hydra Suite, then the, the what is it called? The Skin Perfector do not have enough enough moisturizing ingredients in them although it moisturizes but not as much as the hydra suite so when you want to go for something that will moisturize your skin you go for the hydra suite then when it comes to lightening the skin the skin perfector is better when you want to go one shade or two shades lighter the skin perfector is a go-go for you because it will lighten your skin it lightens the skin very very well so in terms of clearing of blemishes or imperfections on the skin, you will go for the Skin Perfector. It is a clarifying lotion that helps in clearing all imperfections on your skin. Be it blemishes, um, any kind of blemishes, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, dark spots from pimples or acne. It will just clear everything. But the Hydra Suite will not do much in clearing of your blemishes. It's not for clearing of blemishes. It is actually the Skin Perfector that helps you in clearing of blemishes. So in summary, in summary, what I have to say about these two lotions is that, okay, first of all, when you want to, um, it, when you want to clear any imperfection on your body, I think you will go for this Skin, skin, um, skin Perfector. 
or when you want to lighten your skin one shade or two shades lighter you go for the skin perfector but as i said earlier it's not something that will be used for too long it's a treatment it's just like when you have headache once your headache is gone you will discontinue the use of any pain relief that you are using so just like that once your blemishes are, are gone you discontinue with the use of this skin perfector and go over to the hydra suite because it is the hydra suite that will help you in maintaining your skin hydrating your skin giving you a supple and silky skin just rejuvenating your skin something that will just maintain your skin when you want to pamper your skin that is what the hydra suite is so i will just say that it's something like um, step one and step two i don't know when you use the skin perfecto as your step one to clear all your blemishes and get lighter then you use the um, or the hydra suite to keep on maintaining your already perfect skin because the skin perfecto is not something that you use for too long even if you must use it again, even if you must use it again, you have to give it like three to two months, two to three months gap before you use it again because it contains hydroquinone. So that is what I have to say about these lotions. When you stop using the skin perfection, you go the skin perfector, you go over to the hydra suite, or you look for any other good moisturizing lotion that will help you in caring and pampering your skin that is it for the two lotions and that is it for today's video and please if you are seeing my face for the first time or you are tuning into my channel for the first time please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share my name is ella see you in my next video but don't miss me much bye